What's going on YouTube? It's Cuss by Coast back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a review of this is the MRD, but it's the Stylecraft Saber 2. And I was kind of waiting on them to either uh, send me a pair and let me see what the actual difference was or comment or contact me some way. And uh, so they did today, uh, Monday, September, uh, this is September 16th. So they commented on my video and said, we completely upgraded the entire clipper starting with the motor. So I feel like it's fair for them to clear the air, right? So they said they upgraded it from the regular brushless to the Eon brushless motor, which is a super torque brushless motor. It has the same power as the Instincts now and the MRD version. Um, comes with a similar blade, but they upgraded their blade to the Echo Blade and the Shiloh 2.0 cutter. And they also upgraded the battery life to handle the upgraded Super Torque motor, including new tight guards. And, you know, they just said that we never relabel a product. We always improve them upon the original product. So with all that being said, guys, so I know a lot of you guys are against a big companies and uh, I'll be honest, I've always been a Stylecraft guy over other companies, so I'm not gonna talk bad about them. If this really is a new upgraded Clipper, I'll be honest, I really don't even give a shit because this Clipper cuts well. So if they upgraded this and got everything right, that's cool with me. Um, again, I would like to see them before I recommend a bunch of people to buy them. But with this Clipper that I have in my hand, this green MRD Smart Brain Clipper, this is definitely my favorite clipper to use. It has something to do with the combination of, they said that it's the Echo Blade and the Shallow 2.0 cutter. I don't know if they released this cutting blade, but it was something called like the Crunchy Cutter. And this thing definitely crunches when it's cutting. So I'm gonna give them that. Stylecraft, MRD, whatever it is, this clipper has a nice crunch to it. I was looking at the blade a little bit closer, right? And the blade almost looks like a Fusion but it has this like very skinny points on the back. So the top part, I can't tell you if it cuts any different because it looks similar, but the teeth are almost a little bit more like uh, like spearheaded rather than just to a point. They have like a triangle looking shape to it. But all things said, I definitely, I could freehand a whole haircut with this clipper. Um, and I do think it has something to do with the powerful motor along with the way that uh, the all metal body combats it. So it's not a super loud clipper. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, oh, well, Stylecraft communists, so now you're coming to defend them. I'm not coming to defend them. I still, for me, I've recommended y'all to go buy this clipper from AliExpress. They just came to clear the air that it is upgraded from this version. This version right here is cool. I really like this clipper. It's been my go-to for about two months now, so I'm not fabricating anything. Um, I've been doing a lot of reviews, and as y'all see, I took about two weeks off between videos because I've just been back to just being busy at the shop and just trying to stay busy and give my clients the best cut possible. Now, this client is one of my good clients. He's been coming from the very beginning, about seven years. I've been cutting this guy now, and he always has a comb over, and he decided that he wanted something a little bit more for his lifestyle, right? He's been riding his motorcycle a lot, and every time the comb over is messed up, if you've been cutting hair, you get it because one side is lopsided. So he wanted more of a balanced haircut this time around. So I went ahead and, and gave him that. And I was like, well, let me record this haircut for y'all because a lot of people been commenting. But just to take a step back, man, again, this is the final review. This clipper fits great in hand. I'm assuming they didn't change the shape at all. So as far as fitting in hand, I don't know if there's a better clipper because at first you look at it, you go, oh, this clipper's kind of small, but it fits so comfortable that like I just, it's just a good clipper, I'll be honest. Now, at 7,200 RPMs, which is this one, it's not the most powerful clipper on the market, but it's just well built together, so I'll give them that. Uh, I don't know if this is the best clipper of the year. Um, there's a couple clippers that come to mind when I'm thinking of the best clipper of the year, but this definitely, right now, if it's not one, it's two, you know, it might be top two, not two. I'm gonna wait till the end of the year to drop a video on that. But the way that this clipper cuts, the MRD one, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. I, I go back and forth between this one, the TPOB Play, and I still like the Metal Instincts. They just get so loud sometimes that I end up, you know, wanting to grab these instead. They just have a more, they feel more quality is the best way I can put it. Like, and it's all metal instead of the plastic lid. So that's probably got something to do with it. But this is just a good product. So if they actually fix this, I can't say I would recommend it to people. Again, it's a difference of 290 versus 200. You do your own research, you do what you want. 
Um, it gets weird because when you buy these from AliExpress, you gotta add it. And then I know this color says chocolate, even though it's not chocolate, it's green. You gotta pick it based on the picture if you're wanting to buy them. And uh, the trimmer is quite a bit cheaper too. It's about 200 versus 130. And uh, I believe the black and gold are maybe even 110, but you gotta communicate with foreign sellers. You gotta wait three weeks. And then another thing they said on my comments was, we also provide top-notch customer service, education, and investment into the barber industry. You know, I'm gonna give them that because they will send out clippers to up-and-coming uh, barbers, and uh, they'll help you get your foot in the game. I actually met Austin from Gamma at Atlanta Barber Expo. I think it was 2019, because it was right before COVID kind of shut everything down. But um, that's true. I mean, I messaged the Chinese sellers, and it's no shade to them, but like sometimes they're just kind of playing around. Like, I'll ask him for a picture and he'll be like, it's real. Well, okay, that's fine and all, but if I'm gonna buy something that's gonna take three weeks, I'd like to see it before I buy it. Um, and then the customer service part, I don't know if they would actually send you a new one if it messed up. So that that is a thing to consider is the warranty. And then they also commented on here and said, you know, somebody says Stylecraft has probably gritting their teeth at you. Um, you know, it's kind of a funny comment, but he said, no, nah, this is great. We want honest reviews. We're not worried about it because we completely up re-upgraded it. And he said, they said, if you want to go through there, by all means, go ahead. You just won't get the same level of service from us. And see, that's where things get different because I haven't had any issues with this clipper, but whenever I got them, the dock wasn't charging at first. Uh, it's weird. I tried it like two or three times before I gave up on it, but eventually it started charging, right? And that's when all my problems with it went out the window because y'all, as y'all can tell, this is cutting like butter. You know, I could have done a tutorial style video, but man, y'all came here for the final thoughts on this clipper. If you want more tutorials, just comment below because I got plenty of them recorded. But this one was kind of priority to me being that these Stylecraft version clippers drop in October. You can pre-order them now. Um, I'm not going to tell y'all 100% where I would buy them from because I personally haven't been looking everywhere, just being I have the MRD version. But Pro Styling Tools pops up daily telling me that they have a best price guarantee. But if you know me, I always go through Fort Worth Barber Supply if I'm getting something that's not from China. So reach out to Fort Worth Barber Supply if you guys are interested in pre-ordering these clippers. But again, guys, back to my personal opinion. I mean, if these clippers came with four hours of runtime instead of two and a half hours of runtime, I give these clippers 10 out of 10, for real. It's the only clipper I feel like I could possibly give that to. Now, a lot of people think that certain things matter over others. And for me, um, I don't think runtime of five hours necessarily makes it better. Now, it would be a hell of a lot nicer if it did, because I definitely got charged this thing on lunch if I use it all morning, or you gotta buy two. So then it becomes, well, are you gonna spend $400 to $600 having two? Hell no, you want it to be running all the way through on the first try. So if they would have hit this four hours like all of their other products, this would be number one clipper to me. No cap, just straight up cutting. The only thing it's lacking is runtime. Uh, again, on the tight guards, they give you up to number two. If it came with number four, because I use a three and four guard a lot. I got a lot of like take care of waivers or, you know, people that want that on the side. Um, you know, it's something you don't think about, but when I use those masters, they couldn't even cut straight hair. So, uh, yeah, for straight hair, if you want those kids that want the messy top, but they don't want the whole blowout before on the sides blending into the top of straight for them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the blade's good. The battery life is the only real negative. Uh, the charging dock works. Um, I mean, with these metal clippers, they're not going to give you a whole bunch of lids or anything because the whole back is metal. But one thing they did was they give out gold and black uh, top part lids where mine is clear. Um, again, I don't think I would have an all black clipper with a gold piece on it or all gold with a black piece on it. Uh, the clear is fine to me, but uh, if we're just talking cosmetics, that would be one thing. If it was all green up top, I think I would like that better than the clear. But yeah, I mean, the, the blade, that's the Echo Blade. Everybody keeps telling me, oh, it's not Stylecraft. Oh, it's not the Echo Blade. That's the Echo Blade. Um, if you really want to know how to get it, if you go buy it from the seller, the link in my other video, they have something called DK Bag, and DK Bag has a rip-off saber trimmer for 50 bucks, right? Well, they got the diamond cutter on there, and they have the Echo Blade cutter in the comments. And it's the picture. Like I say, you got to go off the pictures. But if you're going off the pictures, it's going to have the Echo Blade. It's going to say DK Bag on it. It's the same blade as this right here. There's other sellers that have it now. It's a little bit easier to find. Uh, a lot of a lot of you subscribers, y'all are smart people. Y'all find this stuff on your own. So, you 
know if this is just for the people that are new to figuring out that this was even out you know what i'm saying but uh again man really this clipper there's nothing really wrong with it other than the battery life it fits well in the hand the ergonomics is there um it cuts great uh, it don't snag people. I've had the Cyborg Clipper snag skin or the, the Ergo snag skin before. And it's the same cutter, so I was kind of nervous. But uh, it, it didn't really do nothing. I really don't have any complaints other than the fact that I don't think Clippers should cost $300. Now, I bought the Metal Instincts for $290. So I can't say they sh that I won't buy it. Let me just put it that way. But a lot of you guys ain't going for it, right? And then I bought that Master and I returned it. And that shit was $279 or something. That shit wasn't worth it at all. If you're talking about in this price range for 300, it's the best $300 clipper. Do I think that should be normal? I mean, I sure as hell hope not. Um, but again, you know, they have other versions too. They have the MRD King X Pro. I'm assuming that's gonna be like the Stylecraft Instinct X upgraded. It's a full metal body. You know, we, we'll see. We'll see whenever that stuff comes out. But uh, there's a couple other things I'm going to try soon on my channel. So y'all be looking forward to that. Again, if y'all want more tutorials, let me know. You got specific tools you want to see, let me know. I got a few Chinese clippers dropping soon. And this is really for beginner barbers. You know what I'm saying? There's some that are maybe like this. It's like MRD is the company. Uh, you know, Made Show is a company that makes GRL. So people have been putting me on game. I've had them for a few weeks. I got real reviews. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll do an unboxing. And it's just my fresh opinions on how the clipper looks and it's not the tool i got i got a bunch of new clippers in the last couple weeks tried them all out so videos are coming soon but yeah man i appreciate everybody that's been taking the time to follow me through this journey if y'all had noticed i recently just got monetized so i appreciate all that not making any money yet but i appreciate everybody that's taking their time to watch my videos seriously um but yeah man it's cuz by coast it's the full transformation taking him from looking crazy uh, you know, beard shaped all the way down. How he asked for it, don't comment saying I messed him up. That's what he asked for. We did a double consultation. But yeah, man, it's Cuz by Coast, and I'm out of here.